What is up everybody, Sir Drumalot here. It's gonna be an outstanding weekend. I am in Homa, Louisiana. That's right, Homa, Louisiana. Cajun cuisine, bayous, and the Travel Homa Geo Tours. Now there's been three Geo Tours. You can find all that information on geocaching.com. I just stopped in the visitor center to get a bunch of information, and let me tell you, they hook you up with a lot of good stuff. So basically the way this geo tour works, they give you a game piece, right? And um, you go and find all these caches and each cache has a sticker or a code word or whatever, depending on which tour you're working on. And you get so many of them, you come back and they give you a cool coin. Can't beat that. Well, the new geo tour for this year, they haven't announced all the coordinates. That's gonna be later tonight. But right now I'm gonna go find one of the caches that is on the very first geo tour. So come on, let's go. All right. All right, let's get to looking for this guy. Just a little walk into the woods here. Oh, uh, let's see. Now look there. That's a looks like a beacon to me. Let's uh let's go back over here. Oh, yep, there it is. Check that out. Oh, awesome. All right. That's a they just replaced this, literally, as I was walking up, <laughs> they were walking out and it just replaced it. I picked up a few caches here and there and I met one that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, it's at a local hotel. Um, and what do you see this little thing, it's awesome. All right, so a great little bird house with a combination that you gotta figure out, not real hard. And opens up and look at there, there's the goodies. That's cool, man, I like that. Last night there was an event, and I didn't video any of the event. There was some good food, a lot of good people there, um, and they released the coordinates. Of course, everybody's in a mad rush to get first to find me, not personally. Um, I went out, and I was out till about 11 o'clock last night picking up these caches. Now, we got to do 30 of them to get that special coin. I nicked about 13 of them last night, so I'm well on my way to getting it. You know the saying about how geocaching takes you to some really cool places and you get to see some really cool things. Here's one of them. Look at that. That's a big old steamboat. That thing is huge. I gotta find this cache and get my code word. And I'm sorry, sun's in my eyes. you can tell driving around but I want y'all to see this highway and this is a highway okay but check this out this side of the highway lots and lots and lots of water this side of the highway lots and lots and lots and lots of water Brings us to the Chauvin Seawall and Floodgate. That's pretty cool. Now, it took us a minute to kind of figure out where the cache was because, well, we didn't really want to get our feet wet. But I happened to have my pair of hunting boots with me for some odd reason, and I just slipped them on and walked over there, and well, the cache is over there. Up above this floodgate here. And you can see the bayou. There's some pretty big boats come up through here, shrimp and boats and uh, things like that. So I just wanted to say I'm having the most excellent time doing this geo tour. I'm actually almost done with these 30 caches. I got a few more to get today. 
Maybe do a little night caching tonight with some of the others in the area. A little windy, I apologize for that. But uh, what you see behind me, uh, this area, and I'll do a slow pan while I'm talking, this area is for uh, RC aircraft flyers. Um, I actually just spoke with a couple of the locals, lived here pretty much all their life, they didn't even know this was here. So, pretty cool. The cache is tucked away nice and neat. Right down in this grate here. Well, if I can get it out, and there it is. I want you to check out these skies. Look at this. Man, it is beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful today. Nice breeze blowing. It keeps the keeps you heating up so bad. I mean, look at that. It's been a beautiful day of geocaching, I tell you. All right, so I am done, done. I got all 30 of the caches. I'm gonna show you the last one. It's right back behind me. Okay, so that's gonna conclude the Homa Geo Tour 2017. But it was a great day of caching, great scenery. Uh, met a lot of really nice people today out in the field. A lot of rushing around, so I didn't get a lot of really, really quality video because I was trying to get this thing done. But anyway, hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video, share it if you don't mind. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, and Facebook at SirDrumalot77. You guys cash on, have a great day, all right?